Breaking news out of Washington, the conclusions of the two-year-long Mueller probe into Russian interference in the 2016 election are finally released. The decision? No collusion among the president or his team with the Russians. And tonight, the president is responding. This was an illegal takedown that failed. Attorney General William Barr released a summary of that highly anticipated report this afternoon. It says the president did not conspire with the Russian government to interfere with the 2016 election, but makes clear the Russian government did work to mislead voters in an online campaign. And then there's the issue of obstruction of justice. For that, let's turn to Mara McDonald, who's live at the federal building. Mara? Hi, Steve. Here is that four-page letter from Barr. And when it comes to the obstruction of justice issue, there are three key takeaways here. Number one, Bob Mueller made no conclusions when it came to obstruction of justice charges against the president. Number two, that means that it's up to the AG to look at what's in the report and make a conclusion. And the AG has concluded there is nothing that rises to the level of charging the president. And finally, while, while, Mother, while Mueller didn't conclude that the president committed a crime here, he doesn't exactly exonerate him either. After a two-year investigation, the conclusions contained in the Mueller report are that the president and his team did not collude with the Russian government or any of its actors. After two years, 19 attorneys, 40 investigators, and 2,800 subpoenas, uh, they found no evidence that uh, President Trump or the campaign colluded with Russian actors to, uh, to impact an election. I think that's important. That was the intent of this investigation. And uh, they, they found no evidence that that's the case whatsoever. But it does make clear the Russians were waging an Internet disinformation campaign aimed at interfering in the 2016 election. And dozens of Russian nationals have been indicted for that. As far as obstruction of justice, did the president try to obstruct this probe? Mueller is not making a conclusion, and the Justice Department has determined what they looked at, most of which has been reported on, like the president's remarks at rallies, is not sufficient to charge the president with obstruction of justice. President Trump, on his way back to Washington from Mar-a-Lago, addressed the press pool on the tarmac. Before I even got elected, it began, and it began illegally. And hopefully somebody's going to look at the other side. This was an illegal takedown that failed. And hopefully somebody's going to be looking at the other side. So it's complete exoneration, no collusion, no obstruction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back here live, we reached out to Congresswoman Tlaib and Congressman Levin. Both were in town today for an event. Neither wanted to give a comment. They said they wanted to take a look at this letter and the report a little more closely. And Steve Priya, I know you know that the president is coming to Michigan this week for a scheduled rally in Grand Rapids, which I'm guessing is probably going to be a little lively. Mm, we are should, live downtown yeah. tonight. Back to you. Yeah, that'll be quite a party in Grand Rapids for the president. Mara, what are the chances that we'll ever get a chance to see the full report? The attorney general, you know, who released the letter today made it clear that he understands that the public wants to see this. And I think the answer is we will see a great portion of this report, but there are some things that legally we won't be able to see. And I think they're going to move with the utmost speed to try and release what they can so that everybody can take a look at it. Back to you. Yeah, I suspect that's true. Thank you, Mara.